Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. As I'm sure everyone is aware, ammunition is getting harder to find these days. For some reason, people seem to be compelled to purchase firearms and ammunition in record numbers. Well today, I'm not going to dwell on what's likely causing those issues, as we all hear enough coverage of current events. So I thought it'd be nice to go a different direction today. I've been interested in guns as long as I can remember. In fact, even longer than I can actually remember. From the time before I could even walk, it was not uncommon for me to have a six gun on my hip. Well, a cap gun anyway. As I got older, I progressed to dart guns, then to BB guns. Kids in my neighborhood spent hours playing war, which not only burned a lot of energy, it kept us outside, something parents actually encouraged back then. Our neighborhood arsenals included all sorts of cap guns, dart guns, water guns, and pop guns. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of my favorites growing up, so buckle up while Sherman and Mr. Peabody set the Wayback Machine to the 1970s. Ray Plastic Company was a prolific toy manufacturer that produced a huge array of products under the Rayline brand in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Their top sellers being toy guns of all types, with many that shot kid-safe ammo, well, at least at the time. One of these was the rapid-fire jet disc tracer gun. I'm not sure what year they first started producing this toy, however the original patent for it was filed in 1967 and was granted in 1970. During that time they were released for sale, marketed and branded as official Star Trek merchandise. It didn't look anything like the phaser weapons from Star Trek, but it looked kind of space agey, and marketing just wanted the name tie-in to boost sales, and it worked. The Tracer Gun was an inexpensive plastic gun that sold for just a few dollars at the time, and could be purchased anywhere cheap plastic toys could be found, including five and dimes, drugstores, and even supermarket checkout aisles. They were packaged in blister-packed cards and came with 20 or 30 of the penny-sized discs that they used for ammo. The discs themselves were made of various colors of plastic and had a central hole with slots around the circumference and were about the size of a penny. They could be used over and over, that is, until you lost them all, but luckily you could purchase additional jet discs which were also sold separately from the guns. The guns themselves were generally a blue or greenish gold toned plastic, but in later years they were made in other colors. The discs were held in an integral spring-powered internal magazine that typically held 20 of the discs, allowing you to fire them off as fast as you could pull the trigger. Volume of fire was important, as accuracy was less than exceptional. Once fired, the discs would shoot out of the gun with a spinning motion that made them fly sort of like a frisbee. The disc would have a range of around 20 feet, and like a frisbee, if you tilted the gun, the discs could curve around, allowing you to shoot around corners. The Rayline Tracer Gun remained in production by Rayline through the 70s. However, during the late 70s, toy guns began to fall out of favor, and sales began to decline. Eventually, production stopped in the 80s. About that time, Ray Plastics Company began to focus on street hockey gear under the Milek brand, and Rayline toys all but disappeared. Today, with Rayline by the wayside and the general fear American companies have of liability, or the possibility of offending the meek with the audacity of producing a toy gun, they're no longer available. And those cheap plastic guns that sold for a dollar are now considered collectible items, with mint conditions still in the package examples able to bring a couple hundred dollars. However, for those of you that have fond memories of these toy guns, I have good news. They might not be produced in America anymore, however with the patents long expired, they're now being made in Russia of all places, and I have a newly acquired example. Let's take a closer look. And we have here today the Russian version of the Ray Plastics Jet Disc, or the Tracer Gun. And uh, so we'll go ahead and open it up here and, and uh, see what we got. So inside we've got the gun itself. We have the Jet Discs. Uh, they're basically the same idea. They look a little different than what I remember. The gun itself, it's uh, the same basic concept, the same overall shape. Uh, it's been stylized a little bit different to actually make it look more like a, a more of a modern gun instead of a ray gun. Um, so it's kind of interesting. As far as the trigger itself, seems to work pretty much the same way. 
Uh, the discs in these, there's a, basically a, a magazine right here, it's an internal magazine, and there's a red plunger there, or follower, and you would just load the discs in. There's a little, it's kind of hard to see, Let's pull the trigger back and forth. That's the launch mechanism there that shoots it out. So you just put the discs underneath that, push down, and then you keep stacking them up. Uh, not sure exactly offhand how many it holds. Take a look here. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, actually at number 20, that seems pretty tight. So it looks like around 20 discs. And uh, basically then you just pull the trigger. And when you pull the trigger back, that little lever will come back. And then at the rear of its travel, it will release and shoot the disc out. And you can see it easier there on the red one. As see it, it comes back, and then release and shoot. So it seems to work just like the ones I remember from when I was a kid. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take it out to the range and see how it does. And we're out at the range today to take a look at the Russian version of the Rayline Plastics Jet Tracer Gun or Jet Disc Gun. I'm at a range of about 10 feet, so we'll go ahead and take some shots, see how it does. I have to excuse the uh, air traffic going on. There seems to be an awful lot of uh, airplanes flying overhead, so hopefully the, the noise doesn't get too, uh, too bad on that. So we'll go ahead and take some shots. Uh, the magazine holds 20 rounds, so we'll go ahead and take 20 shots and see how it does. And that's all 20 shots. Uh, accuracy is not super great on it. Uh, they tended to veer to the left and sometimes nose down quite a bit. Uh, but from what I remember is uh, from when I was a kid, uh, it pretty much seems to be about the same. I had a lot of fun shooting this, and after some searching, was able to find all but one of the discs. It shoots pretty much just like I remember, except I seem to recall it being a little more accurate back then. But that's probably just due to faded memory. The gun itself is clearly copied from the Rayline original, however it's been stylized somewhat with more traditional Russian weapon stylings such as a molded-in hammer, safety lever, and slide serrations. The internal mechanism is also just slightly different, which means it doesn't allow to be fired from the left hand, so it's a right-handed only. The firing mechanism requires pressure against the trigger from the right side to function correctly. This is not a peculiarity of this one example. I've read that on some other reviews as well. And of course, the biggest difference is the price. While it does cost more than just a dollar or two, it won't break the bank like an original in mint condition. I was able to acquire this one from Amazon for around $20. I have a link in the description if you want to check it out. I've also seen them for sale on eBay, sometimes masquerading as the original for inflated prices, so buyer beware on that. I know this is not the typical type of review that I do, However, I wanted to change gears a bit to enjoy some nostalgia and take me back to when times were simpler. I enjoyed making this video, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So until next week, stay safe. Oh, there's another one. 18.